welcome to video number two in my series on the covered bridges of New Brunswick. I've driven through some beautiful countryside to get to this one today. Hopefully today I'm going to cover the bridges in Sunbury and York County. Sunbury has four and York County has either two or three depending on which website you believe. The third one on one of these websites says that it's no longer there. Anyway, this is the Bell Bridge, or the South Oromocto River Number 3, and it was built in 1931. It's 126 feet long, or 39 meters. I've just driven through it to get to this side where I could get a better view of the bridge, and it's, it's in reasonably good repair. And again, on a beautiful river, the Oromocto River, quite shallow. Um, I guess if you were going to, the only thing you'd be able to use on this river would be a canoe or a kayak or something. I almost think I could wade across there. It, it just looks like a gravel bottom that you can see the whole way over. Anyway, let's take a drive across the Bell Bridge and uh, move on to bridge number two in Sunbury County. Well, the next one that I'm going to is called Mill Settlement. And according to the GPS, it's only a six or seven minute drive. In two here. kilometers, turn left on Mill Settlement Road. Two kilometers, actually. This one, of course, is still on the Oromocto River. And there's a little sign or a plaque here as you enter the park. This one has had a royal visitor. It doesn't give the dates, but sometime in the 1960s, Prince Charles visited this bridge uh, when he was at Canadian Forces Base Gagetown doing helicopter training. And this is 139 feet long, or 42 meters. Uh, I don't see a date here. Uh, 1912, built in 1912. It's called the Mills Settlement or South Oromocto River Number no. 2 Bridge. And again, I drove over it to uh, get to this side where the little park is, but on the way back, I'll turn the camera on. The Oromocto River is running very, well, I guess relatively swiftly, but it's quite a calm river and even at this location to me it seems to be quite shallow as well. I think both the only boat you could use on it would be a canoe or a kayak. Up under the bridge up there there's a bit of rough water, quite a bit of shallow water where there are stones. Anyway, let's take a drive over the bridge. Well, I just put the coordinates in for the next bridge, and once again, it's only six or seven minutes from here, so at least three of these bridges are in a little cluster. At the end of the street, turn left. Not exactly easy to get to this one, or driving on the roads, no problem, but I mean to get a place for a vantage point to show you it. It's been, I would say, quite recently restored. Both abutments on either side of it are now steel I-beams and concrete and whatever, and the, the boards are gray, but they all look relatively new. This is called Hoyt Station, or Back Creek. The body of water is called Back Creek that it's on. Built in 1936, 67 feet long, or 20 meters. And I've already driven across once, but we'll drive across again when we're leaving. And I'll try to get another, another shot of it here. Oh, we've got a bit of a longer drive for the next one, I guess. It says about a 40-minute drive from here. Turn right on Highway 101. 
There's no way of getting Miss Garmin to be quiet. Windy. This is the Patrick Owen Bridge on the Rosagonish River. I've first time I've ever seen one that has one side all open. And there's a little roof over that so that it's snow or rain or whatever wouldn't blow inside. Um, the only reason I can think for it, I guess, would be to let light in. Uh, the bridge is fairly long. This one was built in 1909. It's 236 feet, 72 meters long on the Rusaganish River. And it's known either as the Patrick Owen or Rusaganish River number two. We can walk down to the river's edge here. Again, a river that seems to be quite shallow. Another beautiful spot though. I think there's another vantage point over on the other side. I'll, I'll take some video over there as well. Yeah, it's a bridge with a view. You can look out through the side and see the view. along the river. A lot of wind though. I guess the other side of the river was the best place to get a look at it, but at least to get it all in in one shot. Well, I'll drive across the bridge on my way to, to Fredericton now. I've got a couple of errands to run in Fredericton before I hopefully go on to see the at least two bridges that are in York County. Turn left on Bruce Gonis Road. to Fredericton to the feed store. The girls in the coops will be happy to hear. And I've looked again at the uh, coordinates and the directions for the what I thought was at least two covered bridges in York County. But it turns out there's really only one. Um, one burnt down, it says, in 2010. And the other one that I thought was a regular covered bridge is something somebody has built for a tourist attraction or something. It says it's on private property and you have to ask permission of the owner to go see it. Well, that doesn't interest me. I'm more interested in seeing the historic ones, so there's really only one left to view. And we've got a little over an hour, I guess, to drive there. So. Well, the joke here in Canada is we only have two seasons, winter and road construction. I have managed to find road construction. Let's 
hope Miss Garman knows what she's talking about. I'm supposed to drive another four kilometers on this. I don't know what you do if you meet another vehicle coming. It's one lane and I don't see any place to pull off. At least not very often. I think that's one covered bridge that I'll never see. I should have read the instructions instead of just following Miss Garman. She's got me on the right road, but I'm going to tear the bottom out of my car trying to get in there. And according to the written instructions, once you get to the end of the road, you have to walk the better part of a mile to get to the bridge. And I was just outside of the car here for a minute before I turned around to go back. And bugs are so bad that I don't think you'd survive to walk the better part of a mile. So That's one covered bridge that I'll have to scratch off my list, I guess, so I'm on my way home. Well, I made it. Back out of there, anyway. I don't know. To get in to see that bridge, you'd have to have a four-wheel drive, a Jeep or a Land Rover or something. Uh, six kilometers of that dreadful whatever it is, logging road or whatever. Uh, my car was bottoming out various locations. I don't think I did any damage to anything, but I only drove in about two kilometers and then I was looking for a place to turn so I could come back out, get turned around and come back out. But if you'd gone in the full six kilometers and then walked another kilometer or so through the woods to the, to the bridge, the only way back out is to drive over that six kilometers again. So it's a bridge I will never see, I suspect. Well, thank you very much for watching. I guess that will conclude this video. When I left home this morning, I thought I would do Sunbury and York County. Well, I've done Sunbury, and there isn't anything in York County that I can get to, I guess. One's burned down, one is a privately owned, and the only existing one for my car is not accessible. So thank you for watching.